it's common sense. You, you don't invite people to stay if those individuals are possibly dangerous to society. Baltimore County Councilman Wade Catch tells me that's why he co-sponsored a bill that would allow county law enforcement to assist in federal immigration enforcement. The Republican is hoping to follow in Hartford and Frederick County's footsteps, joining the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement 287G program. Well, the cost is all borne by the federal government. The, the county does not have any fiscal responsibility here. The feds provide a four-week basic training program. Refresher trainings have to be completed every two years. Democrat Julian Jones Jr. says the county corrections department is already short-staffed with training suspended through July. To add three or four weeks of training at Baltimore County's expense to somehow deputize our corrections officers to work for ICE is not what we're paying them for. We're paying them to do their job at the jail. Last month, County Executive Kevin Kamenetz issued an executive order including this provision that, quote, no personnel within the police department or Department of Corrections shall cause to be detained any individual beyond their court-ordered release date except upon reasonable belief of the existence of an order of detainer issued by a properly recognized judicial official, end quote. The three Republicans on the council need one more vote to make the bill veto-proof. I can't speak for every Democrat, but I, my, gut, my gut is no. Jones says that the county is already following the law and will hold people for federal law enforcement officials if there is a warrant. This bill could be voted on at the end of the month. We're live tonight in Towson, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.